In this video, we are going to talk about what is cryptocurrency. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel Crypto Palace for the future updates. Cryptocurrency is decentralized digital money that's based on blockchain technology. You may be familiar with the most popular versions, Bitcoin and Ethereum, but there are more than 19,000 different cryptocurrencies in circulation. How does cryptocurrency work? A cryptocurrency is a digital, encrypted, and decentralized medium of exchange. Unlike the US dollar or the euro, there is no central authority that manages and maintains the value of a cryptocurrency. Instead, these tasks are broadly distributed among a cryptocurrency's users via the internet. You can use crypto to buy regular goods and services, although most people invest in cryptocurrencies as they would in other assets, like stocks or precious metals. While cryptocurrency is a novel and exciting asset class, purchasing it can be risky as you must take on a fair amount of research to understand how each system works fully. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency, first outlined in principle by Satoshi Nakamoto in a 2008 paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Nakamoto described the project as an electronic payment system based on cryptographic proof instead of trust. That cryptographic proof comes in the form of transactions that are verified and recorded on a blockchain. What is a blockchain? A blockchain is an open, distributed ledger that records transactions in code. In practice, it's a little like a checkbook that's distributed across countless computers around the world. Transactions are recorded in blocks that are then linked together on a chain of previous cryptocurrency transactions. Imagine a book where you write down everything you spend money on each day, says Bucci Okoro, CEO and co-founder of African cryptocurrency exchange Quidax. Each page is similar to a block, and the entire book, a group of pages, is a blockchain. With a blockchain, everyone who uses a cryptocurrency has their own copy of this book to create a unified transaction record. Each new transaction as it happens is logged, and every copy of the blockchain is updated simultaneously with the new information, keeping all records identical and accurate. How can you mine cryptocurrency? Mining is how new units of cryptocurrency are released into the world, generally in exchange for validating transactions. While it's theoretically possible for the average person to mine cryptocurrency, it's increasingly difficult in proof-of-work systems, like Bitcoin. As the Bitcoin network grows, it gets more complicated, and more processing power is required, says Spencer Montgomery, founder of Uinta Crypto Consulting. The average consumer used to be able to do this, but now it's just too expensive. There are too many people who have optimized their equipment and technology to outcompete. How can you use cryptocurrency? While there are a number of goods and services that you can buy with crypto, particularly with Litecoin, Bitcoin or Ethereum, you may also use crypto as an alternative investment option outside of stocks and bonds. The best known crypto, Bitcoin, is a secure, decentralized currency that has become a store of value like gold, says David Zeiler, a cryptocurrency expert at financial news site Money Morning. Some people even refer to it as digital gold. How to use cryptocurrency for secure purchases. Using crypto to make purchases securely depends on what you're trying to buy. If you're trying to make a payment in cryptocurrency, you'll most likely need a cryptocurrency wallet. One type of wallet is a hot wallet, a software program that interacts with the blockchain and allows users to send and receive their stored cryptocurrency. Remember that transactions are not instantaneous as they must be validated by some form of mechanism. Best Crypto Exchanges Cryptocurrencies can be purchased through crypto exchanges, such as Coinbase, Kraken or Gemini. They offer the ability to trade some of the most popular cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. Still, they may also have limitations. You'll have to check to see if your exchange supports the right crypto pairing you need to make a purchase. For example, you can use your stash of USD coin, a crypto stablecoin, to buy Ethereum on Coinbase exchange. It was once fairly difficult. But now it's relatively easy, even for crypto novices, Zyler says. An exchange like Coinbase caters to non-technical folks. It's very easy to set up an account there and link it to a bank account. Keep an eye out for fees, though, as some of these exchanges charge prohibitively high costs on small crypto purchases. How to invest in cryptocurrency Some brokerage platforms, like Robinhood, Webull and eToro, let you invest in crypto. That's in addition to crypto exchanges. It's best to keep in mind that buying individual cryptocurrencies are similar to buying individual stocks. 
In essence, they are risk assets. If you want exposure to the crypto market, you might invest in individual stocks of crypto companies. There are also a few Bitcoin mining stocks such as Hive Blockchain, HIVE, says Zyler. If you want some crypto exposure with less risk, you can invest in big companies that are adopting blockchain technology, such as IBM, Bank of America and Microsoft. How does cryptocurrency gain value? To illustrate how some cryptos can appreciate in value, let's look at the ultimate crypto bellwether, Bitcoin. Bitcoin nearly quadrupled in value throughout 2020, closing out the year above $28,900. By April 2021, the price of BTC had more than doubled from where it started the year, but all those gains had been lost by July. Then BTC more than doubled again, hitting an intraday high above $68,990 on November 10, 2021, and then dropped to around $46,000 at the end of 2021. As of early June 2022, Bitcoin trades for just over $31,000 per coin. While the original crypto is down by 35% year-to-date, Bitcoin has seen an appreciation of more than 1,000% over the past five years. Should you invest in cryptocurrency? Experts hold mixed opinions about investing in cryptocurrency. Because crypto is a highly speculative investment, with the potential for intense price swings, some financial advisors don't recommend people invest at all. If you like our video then don't forget to subscribe my channel Crypto Palace. Thanks for watching.